All right, guys, I wanna go over something today. We're gonna to sacrifice a um, whole Tida cylinder kit here, but they don't really have a whole lot of value, so that's okay. So, um, I've had this happen a few times. Somebody will call and say, hey, I received my cylinder kit and all my parts. My ring showed up broken um, and my skirt is cracked. So this skirt's cracked. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick how you break rings and, and basically what type of stress you have to put on a ring to get it to break. First off, these rings are incredibly strong. Um, so when you call me and say, hey, my rings showed up broken, it's extremely unlikely that I got broken in shipping and, and a lot of people just don't wanna admit what they did um, and then they try to get us to replace the kits. I get this all the time. So here's a um, Tida. This is not a really a high quality ring by any means. It's pretty um, industry standard, if not a little bit lower. This is what this ring can take, okay? So if you send me a ring that's broken or you tell me your ring's broken, I already broke one and it's not twisted like this and it's just totally flat. The only way that can break is if it, if it has impact or if it's bent like this, okay? Well, let's see if I can even break one like that. I don't even know. Well, let's, let's start by this, okay? I can twist this into an S curve before it's broken. So typically, let's say this was to come out of the box and get smashed and damaged, bounce around, whatever. It would take a lot of force to get this thing to break. So check this out. Almost at a complete S before it breaks. Okay, so if you call me and say your ring showed up broken, that's extremely unlikely that it showed up in sh that broken shipping. Again, you can bend them like this. You can bend them out. Again, this 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 ring is ruined now, of course. But just showing you, for example, what these rings will take. So if I had a pair of pliers, which I didn't bring any with me, and I bend it this way, they'll snap like that. But it takes a ton of force to break a ring. So let's see what it takes to break a ring. There you go, okay? It didn't break. So um, I just wanna show you guys that, because again, I, I'm getting these calls more and more often, and I wanna show you guys how it goes together and the importance of making sure you have them, um, have your rings installed properly. So on these ring lens, we have a locating dowel here, or a pin, and we have another one here. This gap needs to go over the top of that pin. So I'll show you what happens. And again, I, I don't really care about these components. We just have to sacrifice a uh, sacrifice a kit. So we're gonna take this 55, and this is gonna apply pretty much to any two-stroke, okay? So we're gonna put this, and again, I don't really care if it's pissing get scratched up because it's gonna get trashed anyways. See how that you squeeze it, how flush that is? There, it drops down, okay? That's what it needs to be like, and they expand out um, to create a seal between your cylinder and your piston. If you go over the top of that, that's as far as it goes. Okay, it won't ever go down until you get it, until you get it right on top of that pin. I'll get it right there, and it drops down. So what happens is people do this, okay, just for for fun, or they they hold it and they force it in and they can't get it in, right? So what they do is they squeeze it in like this, and they push and they push and they push and they force and they push like that. Okay, so look at this expanded. Won't even let it go down, right, in that position. Obviously it's not in right, but if you're installing your piston, first off, you're gonna cause giant gouges in your cylinder and your bike is never gonna, your bike is never gonna run. It's probably gonna break long before it even runs. So let's try to, um, I'm gonna try to basically do uh, simulate the scenario I'm dealing with right now um, with a customer. So let's just see if I can do this here. So this is what the customer, or what I'm assuming the customer did, um, trying to force it in without that being in the right position. I don't know if I can get this tight of one on at all, but maybe that's it. <laughs> So you can see, okay, that's creating force, pushing the skirt outwards. And I'm trying to, trying to crack it. Basically, skirts are getting cracked because, um, skirts are getting cracked because they're being installed like this and they're being forced out. So I can't even get this one to crack the skirts pretty. Let's see here. 
And again, this isn't the exact kit that the guy put on, so this one may be a little bit tighter, or maybe the dowel stick out a little bit further than his kit. Um, let's see here. Again, this is not how you do this. This is, I'm trying to show you guys how you are not supposed to do this. Okay. So again, see how this is sticking out and how it's gonna force this skirt out? This metal will crack. It'll crack. You'll get cracks all along here. This one's, here, I think I got it. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's tight. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So I've got, I've got it over the top of the pin, okay? Look at that, crack the skirt. This is what you don't wanna do. This is what you do not wanna do, and this is what happens, okay? So people work them, they shove them down, and what you end up with is a cracked skirt, okay? You end up with a cracked skirt, and you end up with scratches. So this is toast. If you, um, if you don't install this properly, okay, typically, Typically you break the ring and typically you can kind of mess up this aluminum here because the ring's being forced down. So um, again, this is not super common, but I've had a few people email me saying their kit showed up broken um, and basically look at the pictures and say, okay, well, it's very clear that if you install it like this and the ring's pushing outwards, this is what you get. So. Don't install your pistons like this, okay? This is just a sacrifice for sacrificing this bore because uh, I wanted to show you guys this tightest stuff's not expensive anyways, but this has to be a good fit. If you're forcing it, you're doing something wrong, you wanna have this lined up. So what I typically do, okay? What I typically do is when I get that in place, I take my fingers like this, when I have a bolt on, I hold them, I put my fingers in the recesses there, squeeze it, and it slides right in, just like that. So, um, again, that's how I do it. I just squeeze it on the recesses, I make sure it's in the right spot, and just slowly work it in. This thing should just drop right down. If it doesn't install like that, you're doing something wrong. So, um, hopefully that helps you guys understand it. Some people have questions about installing rings and why they break. The only way you break a ring is by this type of force I just put on it right now. Um, my guess is somebody he installed it sideways and cracked the skirt or installed it and basically pushed it down and it just, the ring was sticking out so much like this, it just snapped the ring. So there you have it. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, had to sacrifice a, a bore for the, the scooter lord. So have a good uh, day today. Have a good Tuesday. Thanks for watching, share, subscribe, and select notifications.